right, so we uh, we, we we decided it was kind of clear we came in a tie. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah, with the Mad Libs. So we needed a tiebreaker, and I thought, well, let's change things up a little bit. So I brought with me Super Fight, along with the Nerd expansion and the Locations expansion. So we uh, just drew, and Tom, what do you got? I've got <clears throat> Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. Took an arrow in the knee. <laughs> Armed with a diamond sword. Oh, wow. Okay. So I got Tesla, who is a noob. Who is a noob. Armed with a dagger that rewinds time. Oh, man. So now we rather got another no. Armed with a dagger that rewinds time. And the fight is going to take place in a labyrinth. It pissed me off because one of my choices besides Tesla was the Minotaur. It just would have worked so well. So here they are in a labyrinth. Tom, this is a great day for a battle here we have with this uh, the nerd wasteland. We're seeing here, we're seeing Nikola Tesla is going to be facing off against Leroy Jenkins. Uh, Leroy Jenkins for the win, no question. We could just pack up. No, whoa, 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 right whoa, 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 because it's obvious. he has he took an arrow to the knee. He is in no shape to be out on the field. He should no. not be playing the game today. This is his chance. This is his opportunity. And taking an arrow in the knee made him realize that this is what he wanted. It made him realize that the noob Tesla actually has a chance to win this now. It's all about the numbers. It's all about the grinding. Leroy is going to know the labyrinth back and forth, find any secret doors, find any gold, find anything that he can. He already found a goddamn diamond sword, for Christ's sake. You know, There's no stopping someone with the amount of thoroughness as Leroy Jenkins. You know, diamonds are only that strong from the point. You know, they're actually, you, they can be broken with a hammer. Uh, this is a strong diamond sword, too. <laughs> Trust me. It's made by the best. By the best. Now, Tesla, on the other hand, is armed with a diamond dagger. I'm sorry, a dagger, not a diamond dagger. You have the diamond sword with your man over there that you think is going to win this. But this dagger can rewind time. Can rewind time. He has affected the space-time continuum with this. Leroy Jenkins is timeless. He's uh He's a man sitting in a computer chair for hours on end. He has nothing but time. It doesn't matter if you rewind it. He'll just go and grind the whole thing again. Do you know how many times this guy has run the Mario games for speed? Well, there's no doubt about that. I can't take that away from him. He has nothing to do in his mother's basement but play this game or that game all day long. So, time, time, time is meaningless to him. He'll just start over and grind Tesla down. So his sad lifelessness is actually taking one of Tesla's prime objects and items, weapons, out of the gameplay is what you're saying. Look, I don't want to throw any, like, bad shit around, but it's obvious that you can destroy Tesla and take away all his life's work because, spoiler, it happened to him. So all oh. Leroy Jenkins has to do is just wait around and let uh, Tesla If Tesla wasn't a noob, I would say he still has a fighting chance. But you've taken away you his dagger with that. Yeah, yeah. You've, you've exploited the fact that he's a noob and can't handle the situation, does not know what's going on in the situation, and he himself has not brought his pigeon lover into this game. His pigeon lover into this game. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Is that what I'm... Yes. I may have to concede to Leroy Jenkins. He's gonna grind it. What do you say with that? Did Leroy Jenkins win this? against the noob Tesla armed with a now useless time-traveling dagger. He took an arrow in the knee. He wants to be an adventurer. Who's next on the list? You'll have to find out. What's up, nerd?
nerds and nerdettes and we little nerd things all. It's your buddy, Big John and G, the two gun fix it presents Legendary Gaming. All right, so that last game went quick. Too quick. We wanted to do this again. I gotta take him down. Can't believe you took down Tesla. All right, just like, just like Jackson. Westinghouse did. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? Okay, so what do you got uh, this time? So. What do you got? Uh, I have Death Knight is wearing diamond armor and can create a lightning field that shocks anyone within 10 feet. That sounds like a video game character. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is he going to be in the next God of War? Probably. Well, glad you're dealing with lightning, because I got Zeus. Oh, shit. All right. Armed with the Master Sword. Master Sword. In a mech. Ooh. Oh, forget that. You're in a metal, you're in a metal sage. And we're fighting in a giant cave. All right, so uh, here we are with round number two. We have another battle coming at us, and I definitely have my money on Zeus of the deities of Olympus. The gods of 12 themselves has entered in the battlefield. Uh, yeah, so you think about a death knight. Uh, you're still very close into god territory, the god of death. The, the 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 one who rules death. He holds no such title. He is still immortal, still immortal. But it, he is a knight in honor of death, which is quite impressive. And um, he's a he's a. What is he wearing? What is that? He's well. He's, he's traveling wearing into this with a uh, diamond armor, shiny, shiny diamond armor. So he's pretty much untouchable. Uh, and I'm pretty sure electricity uh, doesn't pass through diamond, so good luck with that. However, uh, uh, however, he's still going to lose to the power of Zeus. Oh, that's right. Zeus. Uh, no, Zeus in a mech? Forget about it. That mech is just... Uh, I'm able to create a, a lightning field that shocks anyone within 10 feet. Your lightning cannot affect Zeus, the god of lightning. All right. Well, first of all, calm down. It's that's not like me. that's like that's like saying I'm going to throw a match at the Human Torch. <laughs> Look, I understand your position, Bob, but please, we're just commentators. We're just commentators. Don't take things so personally. <laughs> what would Zeus be able to even throw at a heavy metal loving knight? who uh, can shock its mech and can't get shocked back. Lightning has no effect. None, I'm pretty well, sure. First of all, being the god of lightning, I doubt he would be affected by lightning. Second of all, being in the mech suit means that the lightning would be on the outside. It would travel the outside of the suit. If you're in a suit of armor, you are well protected from a blast of lightning because it's not going to travel through the suit. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to ride the suit. Ride the suit. Yeah. You are safe. Yeah. In the armor, you are yeah. safe. Yeah. So he is the god of lightning in a metal suit. Your your electricity attacks will not affect him. Now, being in a mech, you think that you are invulnerable because of your diamond armor. Well, how about an indirect attack? Using his mech armor to blow a hole in the floor underneath you, which you fall in, and then blasting the top so the ceiling caves in on you, leaving you completely buried in the giant cave. That is like a whole horror story event <laughs> you're stuck in there in diamond armor so you're not crushed or anything you're just fucking stuck you're just fucking stuck he's gonna starve to death well he's he'll, gonna he's gonna go he's, mad he's gonna, far before he starves to death i think he's gonna die of thirst before he starves to death well mm, oxygen oxygen yeah. so he's probably gone in a little bit um and Zeus didn't even, and he leaves the master sword there, planted in the ground like a, <laughs> yeah, like a tombstone. Yeah, yeah. Didn't even need it. 
and then nothing grows there because like my shock is like electrifying the it decimates soil. the ground. No life because you were a death knight. So no death life knight. grows there. That is your final that was right. your final middle finger to the you world. You know what? You know what? Your character wins, but my character had a pretty cool death. He did. He did. Sometimes you just gotta go for the indirect attack. That makes sense. Even if you are the god of all Olympus. Still sometimes you gotta fight like a rogue.